Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Sam, and today guys we're talking about dirt bike vests. Stick around and see which one I like the best. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be talking about vests, but before we do that, I want to know what you got going on today. Comment below. Also, if you guys want to help support the channel, hit that subscription button. Also, click on the link in the description below to pick up one of these vests. We get a small commission. We appreciate it. It really helps the channel out. Allows us to continue to do what we're doing and keep reviewing dirt bike products. All right, guys. We're going to go through each one of these vests and kind of talk about them and some give you some some specs. So let's first talk about the OGO. So this is a little bit a little bit of an older OGO. This is the MX Flight Vest and in stealth black. This costs around $200 and comes with tons and tons of pockets. It also includes a bladder. You get tons of like multi-use pockets, cell phone pocket, tool pocket, like there's no shortage of tools. There's, there's pockets upon pockets on this thing and it, it's got tons of space. You got space back here. You got an extra thing here. You got your side pockets right there and also front pockets. And so this looks like a weatherproof zipper. So putting like a cell phone or something like in that is probably a good idea. The next one is the Climb Arsenal Vest. So this has got nine pockets in total and also comes with a tool pack in the back. This does come also with the bladder and costs around 200 bucks. I think the exact price is $219.99. So this has tons of front pockets as well. You've got a little extra you know, strap in here that you can move around. You've got molly webbing and it's got lots of adjustability and then on the sides like i put sometimes i'll do like a fuel can there or extra water you've got the tool kit in the back you've got this pocket you can put stuff in and then you've got the major big pocket here that you can also put in your hydration bladder all right so then is this is the wolf enduro vest ops fest now this was what this color was a you know they an answer racing and wolf enduro got together and built this vest and now they have is the desert tan now i think they only have it in black on their website um, you might be able to find the desert tan and other places but um this one's kind of like a mix between a fanny pack and a backpack you have lots of adjustability for straps and it'll fit all sorts of sizes and you've got front pockets here, molly webbing for anything you want to put. And then on the back, you have a pack here. You have a zipper in the very back. And this actually fits this, my, the climb tool kit pretty nicely. Then you have some, uh, uh, a zipper here. And then for the main big part, you have this and you have a section back here for a hydration pack now this does not come with the hydration pack this does cost around 200 bucks as well so far i'm really liking this uh vest one of the problems though just now as i was getting ready we'd been sitting down doing stuff and i was getting things out of the pockets and i had two pockets unzipped and as I got up to, to go, because there's so many pockets, I zipped this pocket up. And as soon as I did that, I, I felt like I was done, not realizing as soon as I looked down, I see my phones flopping around in this top pocket. So something to be aware of, if you're going to have this many pockets, you need to have a system or be familiar with, okay, zip everything up before you go because you're going to lose stuff real quick. All right, let's talk about some things. So while I feel a vest is better than a standard dirt biking backpack, even the ones that have the cross straps here, they still bounce around where vests do not bounce around nearly as much. Vests also allow you to carry a lot more weight and evenly distribute that 
but the downside to Advest is they typically run a little bit hotter. So we're going to talk about, it's middle of the summer, we're going to talk about which one is the hottest. So the, the OGO is the warmest. It is, there's very little, there is some vents here, but when wearing this with this material, I feel like it's almost suffocating. Then the climb. The climb is not nearly as bad. It does have some venting. They try really hard, but it still, still runs pretty warm. So this is the coolest one. So the Wolf Enduro is the coolest one. And the reason for that is it has nothing in the front. So it's just two shoulder straps that come down and then a fanny pack. So this runs the coolest in the summer. All right, let's talk about which one can carry the most gear. Now, both the OGO and the Climb are pretty similar when it comes to how much gear they can carry. I just like how Climb organizes their pockets better. So I feel like this is my favorite for hauling lots of gear. So camera gear, extra gas, extra food, extra water, whatever I need, the Climb Arsenal Vest can handle it. And I've packed a lot of weight on this and I really like it. We've got the tool thing here. And a lot of times, sometimes I'll, I'll replace the tool thing. You can strap other things to this, like, you know, our, uh, our drone or something like that. And so then this is the, what I feel is the best hauler for lots of gear. This is close. It's close. It's not bad. I just think that Climb does a little bit better at organizing the weight. So... And then obviously this is a lot smaller and you can't carry nearly as much as these other two vests. All right, so the next question is which one would I, which one would I use for like an everyday pack? Which one do I gravitate and use the most? Uh, that would be this one. So this one is the one that I use on most of my trail rides. Typically my trail rides are four or five hours. This has the ability to carry a bladder. It doesn't come with one, which I think is a major downside but it allows me to carry a tool pack back here and then enough snacks and everything to last the day. And then these pockets are huge. And so I, I carry all my, uh, my cell phone, multi-tool, and then also have like GoPro batteries and chapstick and just random stuff in this. And sometimes, you know, we'll have like a GPS unit or something like that. So this is my go-to bag. I use this the most. Spoiler alert, it's my favorite one because of that. It's, it's lighter than the other ones, it breathes better, and it feels like a fanny pack backpack versus an all-around vest, which I really like. Tons of molly webbing to hook a bunch of random stuff to it as well. And then, then this is my second favorite. So this is my go-to for holding lots of gear. So if we know we're going on just a film trip or something like that, I always wear this vest. If I had a choice, I probably, I wouldn't buy the OGO. I would buy one of these two, buying this one first. Um, this one's a little more expensive than this one. Uh, so take that in consideration, but we know that Climb has a good warranty and also backs their gear uh, and they'll fix it if something breaks. So, and the Climb comes in a, different, a few different colors. You get the, let's look at this. You got a new color from Climb. It's called the Cool Gray. Um, then you have the Stealth Black, which was this one, and then the Sage with the High Viz, viz on it. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Did, what did I miss on these vests? I'm a big fan of vests. I've switched over to vests, and I'm no longer using any of my USWE packs or my Climb Knack pack or any of my Fox racing packs or anything like that. I'm not, I just don't use them. I just use vests. I think the vests are a way, way better way to distribute the weight. I would rather it be a little bit hot versus being able to just sit there and smack my back all the time so i'm a big fan of the vest anyway comment below what you think of the vest and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and we'll get see you guys in the next video